future infrastructure investments. SNP leader Stephen Flynn. Yeah. I wish to join with the Prime Minister and the Leader of Opposition in extending my party's thoughts to all of those involved in the terrible tragedy in the Channel this morning. Yeah. Mr Speaker, thanks to positive and proactive negotiations between the Scottish Government and Unite and Unison Health Unions, a pay settlement has been reached and strike action averted. Yeah. By stark contrast, the UK Health Secretary appears completely unwilling to negotiate with unions on pay, and strike action is very much still on the table. Shame. So may I ask the Prime Minister, when will he see the error of his ways and follow the Scottish Government's lead? Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, M Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm glad the UK Government was able to provide £1.5 billion pounds yeah. in extra funding uh, to the Scottish Government for public services. Uh, and uh, the, the Health Secretary and other ministers have engaged fully, not just with the unions, but with an independent pay-setting process, which takes the politics out of the process and ensures that we can meet those independent requirements with a fair pay deal. Stephen Flynn. Uh, Mr Speaker, let's be clear, those words will ring hollow in the ears of those people who, unlike the Prime Minister, can't end up into Waitrose for their shopping, nor indeed even turn on their heating at this moment in time. And that's particularly true for people in Scotland, because as we know, average energy bills in Scotland are not anticipated to be £2,500 per year. They are expected to be £3,300 per year. People are genuinely terrified. And that is despite the fact that Scotland produces six times more gas than we consume, with some 80 per cent of our electricity coming from low carbon sources. Decades of failed UK energy and regulatory policy coming home to roost. Is it not the case that Scotland has the energy? We just need the power. Well, 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 Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm glad the Honourable Gentleman raised the question of energy support. And it's because of the actions of this government that we are providing every household in this country with around £900 of support with their energy bills this winter, £55 billion worth of support. And on top of that, next year, there will be extra cost of living payments worth up to £1,200 for the most vulnerable, whether that's those on means-tested benefits, pensioners or indeed disabled. This is a government that will always look after the most vulnerable in our society. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. As my right honourable friend will know, the Mayor of London